What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel for another PGA Tour schedule video. Um, first round back here in a few weeks. Um, back from Florida, my Florida trip. Um, had one day in between and then I had a bachelor party that I went to. And now this is the uh, week after, first time out here. Um, first time swinging a club. I played one time um, for the bachelor party. We played one time um, last week. So I haven't swung a club in about a week. And I played, um, it was like a hundred and... 26 holes I think something like that I played seven days in a row 18 holes in Florida um, so was too tired then now I kind of took a break off and I haven't swung in a while so I find myself in a constant state of playing too much or not playing enough but we're gonna give this a go um, very very hot and humid out right now it's about 87 with the real feel of into the 90s either 87 or 89 um, it was in a full sweat before just coming out, setting everything up. I took a ton of practice swings. Swing's not feeling the best, trying to get adjusted back to uh, playing the simulator after playing, um, I don't know, close to 150 holes of real life golf, hitting off a of real grass. So um, wasn't hitting it the best, but hopefully expectations are low. Hopefully we can put together a decent round here for this course, which is Detroit GC. Um, in GS Pro, it says Detroit, basically Detroit GC slash RMC. Um, meaning this is Detroit Golf Club, home of the Rocket Mortgage Classic going on from June 27th to June 30th in Detroit, Michigan. Um, pretty fun tournament. A lot of people tune in for this one. Um, playing the furthest back tees like always. So we'll see how it goes. Again, my expectations are pretty low, but pretty cool already on the first tee. Um, they got the Rocket Mortgage, the, uh, at least it looks like that, the tee markers. I'm sure there'll be some grandstands, some cool stuff to look at. There's cars all along the left side. Hopefully I don't pull one through a windshield here, but um, we'll see how it goes. Getting into it for the rundown, um, everything's linked down below in the description. Appreciate it if you guys check out those Amazon links. Garmin Approach R10 behind me on the DIY level stand. Country Club Elite Mat, Callaway Super Fast Balls, DIY Stance Mat, which uh, has seen better days, at least for the mulch underneath. Pretty uneven. I need to uh, get some fresh mulch out here and level things out. 10 by 7 nets, which are holding up good. Um, you guys wouldn't believe I came out here and I had to take some like clippers and cut all this stuff down If you guys can tell by the grass over here if you guys can see some of this This was all overgrown within like a week or two um, There was tons of stuff growing in here. I had to chop it all down But crazy not being out here for like a week or two how much stuff can change but nets holding up good and then uh, GS Pro within our GS Pro is the uh, simulator software um, on my gaming laptop so Feel kind of out of sorts. Feel like I haven't done this in a while. So if I forget a few things or do things a little bit different, my apologies. Trying to get back into the swing of things here, but let's look at this first hole flyover, which is a par four, 405 yard hole. Hopefully, I remember all the shortcuts for all these uh, different GS Pro settings and whatnot. But slight dog leg left. Like I mentioned, I took a ton of shots before. I was catching catching things heavy. Before, when I was playing on course the first couple days, I was catching everything thin, afraid to hit down on it. Now I'm hitting down too much in the mat. Um, this mat is a, this country club elite mat, pretty thick. It grabs the club if you don't catch it really clean. So I was hitting everything heavy. Everything was coming up a bit short. So we'll see again. Expectations are pretty low. Um, started off with some 60s and a couple 56s. Then I went to the pitching wedge. My first pitching wedge swing, I hit off the hosel over there, which uh, may be the story of today. And then um, hit some nine irons, seven irons, six irons, and that was about it. But uh, definitely in a full sweat, so we'll see. Hopefully, piece together a halfway decent score here. Let's see where we're aimed. Still trying to play the fade, so we'll aim up there, left side. Let's see here with the old Sim 2. Oh, that's pulled left. Oh, I like that. Good kick. Get on the fairway. All right. <laughs> 200 yards uh, into the rough. I was thinking, one, I'm trying to get back into the swing of things of playing in the simulator here off this mat. Two, down in Florida for a whole week, I was using my old set of clubs. So that old white RBZ driver and my old... Uh, rocket blades clubs so i'm back to trying to get used to this hitting off the mat again same alignment hitting into the net without really picking out a target as obviously not the same as real golf and then also kind of getting used to my clubs that i should be used to that i've been playing but 
Um, second shot here, not the best drive in the world. Swung it at 103, 143 ball speed. Um, we're in, we're in the rough, which is going to be 6%. I've been catching everything heavy, so I'm going to go 5 iron. If I was swinging it well, I could probably get the 6 there, but we're going to go 5. Um, it's going to come out, we're on a down slope, so we'll see. Aim over there, hopefully we don't catch these trees. Chunky toey. That's gonna be short. That was basically what I was doing on the range. I was trying to hit. I actually hit probably too many. My back's already sore from how many I hit, but I kept doing that. I keep hitting. I gotta catch it a lot cleaner, which clean here is good for the simulator rounds, but then I get out on course and I was thinning stuff and I was like afraid to almost hit down and take a divot. Wish I could find kind of a happy medium in between the two, but all right, third shot into this par four, 46 yards. Um been experimenting more with the uh, fuller shots now with the higher nets, both on course two. So I'm going to try the 56 and playing that to around 50 yards. We'll see if I can get it here. Um, not much to deal with with the slope. I did want to mention too, I'm doing this one, this PGA Tour one, and I plan on doing one more for the week after, right after this, as long as I don't like completely fall apart and get too frustrated. But um, the video right before this one, you guys should be seeing my first on-course round um, in Florida, and I'm already working on the second one, so um, hopefully I can mix in um, and get these on-course videos that I record down in Florida out in a uh, efficient manner, but you guys should be seeing that with more to come. So, 56 here. Looking for just shy of 50, probably in the neighborhood of 40 yards of carry would be pretty good. Decent contact. Oh, what is this again? What is that? Remember that happened before I left too. I don't know if that's a R10 misread, a GS Pro misread, or a connector misread, but I mean, like, I guess it's the R10. I mean, carry raw was 3.9 yards. You guys saw how I hit that. Um, club speed was 44. I think that may be right for that type of shot. But like, how does that only go? Carry raw is four yards. Carry in the game was six and only went 22. Now we got 24. So hopefully that's the only time that happens here. Going to the 60 now. That's kind of frustrating. That felt decent too. That honestly may have been, I pushed it a little bit right. I hit it pretty decent. That may have been a little bit long, but that definitely wasn't a six yard carry shot. I don't know what could possibly be picking it up. I came out before and the grass was so overgrown in between where the R10 and the bricks start. I had to take like the hand clippers and cut it all down. So that shouldn't be an issue. It shouldn't be um, picking up any grass or have any type of interference. That didn't happen on the range. So I don't know what the deal is with that. But um, what do we got for a slope? Running up slope. So I think right around 20, 20 yards of carry. These are firm greens. I've been sticking with the course recommended settings. So gonna roll out 20 yards of carry should be good here with the 60 should be close to that I think all right luckily we got inside the inner circle waste a stroke bogey that's unfortunate I think that would have possibly been who knows maybe if I was long on the first one I would have had a bogey anyways but um, terrible drive pretty bad five iron and then unfortunate read with that wedge and then that 60 was decent but one over through one, second hole, par four, 445. Take a look at the flyover. Let's see if I can uh, not, that wasn't quite a duck hook on the other one. It was just a pull, started left and stayed left. See if I can strain that out a little bit. I was hitting driver pretty good down in Florida. Um, the bachelor party round was just a three man scramble with some beverages flowing. So that wasn't a, super serious around by any means so hit a couple good ones there I hit one actually over 300 we were up in the mountains in uh, New Hampshire got a roll out down a hill I think it was like 305 um, but all that to say wasn't really uh, trying to play super good golf or take kind of any of the shots that were good or bad super serious but narrow 
starting here through these trees. We'll go there. That's also left. Same as the first one. What's going on here? All right, that's tough. Obviously we hit the trees, 217. That's a 200 yard drive and a 217 yard drive to start. Those don't feel like terrible swings either. They're just kind of low. Putting ourselves behind the eight ball real quick here. 231 under these trees. I think I'm honestly gonna go. We're in the rough. Aim a little bit this way. I'm gonna go a low punch for hybrid. Kind of saw off the finish a little bit, I think. Just try to punch it low and up there. Play it back in my stance a little bit. Also left, it's probably in those trees. Oh, we're in someone's backyard. Go, roll. What's going on here? Pull city. Nice 150 yard four hybrid. All right, now I gotta punch again. So we've got 84 in the rough. Um, go a little punch seven maybe. What was I, what I was looking for it might be a little bit too much. Ooh, I mean, pin high. All right, decent recovery. Unfortunately, we're hitting, I think this is our fourth shot, so I gotta put this close. It's only five yards. I'm just gonna go a little tester 60 degree. Hopefully, fourth shot, get it inside the inner circle, I guess for a bogey. Very wayward start here. I don't even know if this is gonna read. We could use one of those <laughs> phantom reads for three yards here. That would actually be pretty good. Um, we're on an upslope. I mean, I don't even know. Five yards. I gotta land it like here. One, two. And I gotta land it like here. That's like three yards. Okay. Take two. That actually may have been too much, too. Just, I don't know, this delicate of a shot, it's gonna be tough for the R10 to read. I think no matter what I do here, it may come up long just to get it to read. Sit. All right, I mean, I basically chunked miss hit that, but that small of a shot. All right, two over through two. Third hole, par four, 405. So brutal out here. Unfortunately, it's supposed to rain. I don't even know why I'm out here right now in this kind of heat, but. Realistically, I should have just came out here and just practiced off camera and got used to the simulator again. I've said it before, mainly it's because I play so much back here and then going on course. I need like two rounds in a row or like two different times. Usually two, one to three times, usually two or three, one way or the other. So like two or three rounds here on the simulator, um, get back into the swing of things and feel kind of what I need to do for these shots. And then same thing back on course, playing off of real grass. If I'm switching back and forth or like the first time back, it's usually a little bit hairy, but. All right. I mean, we're gonna leave it down the middle. This one, I'll probably slice it, but I just need to open the face a little bit, I think, and uh, start this a bit more right. It's 
still left a little bit better, but. That one at least went somewhere, 260 into the rough. I guess we're trending. 200 on the first one, 217 on the second one, 260 on that one. Played pretty well down in Florida. Looking forward to putting out some of those vlogs. Um, had some good drives too, despite that RBZ driver. That was 2012, that thing's like 12 years old, but um, I had a couple um, up towards 300 land, which is pretty cool. All right, 144 out of the rough. I think I'm just gonna go nine iron, pins in the back. I don't think, pitching wedge would get to the front. I don't know about the rollout. Rough's gonna kill, what, 6%? I am just a tad left. We'll just hit a smooth nine. Hopefully just make good contact with it. If I'm a little bit long, so be it. But I'm catching everything chunky back here. That was a cleaner strike, but club face was open. Kind of popped that up. At least though, I didn't chunk it. Pretty short nine iron, only 130. But I think we're gonna have to, oh, it's gonna give us to it for a bogey. All right, bogey golf back here today. Three over through three, fourth hole, par five, 621. Need a good one here. Take a look at this flyover. That is one thing too I've noticed. Um, I feel like on course I had to, mainly with the longer clubs, like driver, some of the longer irons, had to shut down the face more just because the Garmin doesn't pick up the side spin as good as, good as it should. So um, there were some I was losing to the right. Ironically, these I'm losing left. So I have a feeling these ones that are that far left, they did feel left, but I feel like in real life they would have started a little bit left and then came back, faded a little bit more. But I got to, Shut down the face a little bit more at a dress on the course and back here. I think I just need to open it up just a little bit more. I guess we're going to aim down the middle, considering I got kind of a two-way miss going. I mean, I say two-way. Mainly with driver, it's just left right now, but... High heel, that should be straighter though. Didn't hit it very good, but at least it's down the middle. What did we get on that? 105.6 on the club, 140 because it was so high on the face. 250, all right. On course, 250 is nothing to write home about, especially back here, but on course, if I was standing on that tee box and I put it 250 just high on the face down the middle, I wouldn't be super angry with that. All right, leaves us with only 366 left. Considering, I mean, it's not completely shot, but we're playing bogey golf. I'm gonna go three wood. If I if I was like even, maybe one under, maybe I'd kind of bunt up a four hybrid just for the consistency sake, but we're gonna go three wood. I do still wanna practice with this thing, get more consistent with it. So let's see if we can put something in the neighborhood of 250 up there. Chunky. Straight though. Crazy how much of a difference this mat makes. Using my full array of clubs already. Oh. What do we got left? 134? All right, like that. Should be a, uh, not much to deal with with the slope. This course seems pretty flat so far. 134, just going pitching wedge. What am I hitting three? Inside the inner circle, birdie would be nice. Probably a little bit ambitious the way I'm hitting it right now, but 
anything on the green for a par, inner circle for a birdie. Kind of get back on track a little bit here. Start a little bit left, should fade back. That should be decent. Sit. Oh, all right. I mean, 138 yard pitch wedge. These greens are firm, but I hit that decent. I was dead center of the club face. That's basically what I've been playing on course. Kind of that fade started a little bit left, left of target, have it fade back. That was a pretty good shot. And that's what I've been playing on course. So better, at least. At least it wasn't another bogey. So three over through four, fifth hole, par three, one, five, three, up seven feet. So that's about a little over two yards. Hit the flyover. I think I'm just going to hit a nine. Hopefully I hit the nine like I did that pitching wedge right there. Just going to double check the camera. I waited it's later in the afternoon right now just for the all the shade, but it is still very hot. I don't want anything to overheat and stop recording. Looks like for the time being we're good though. All right. Aim about there, aim for the fatter portion of the green. Not exactly out here, pin seeking. A Little bit thin, should be there though. Uh, too much fade. All right, 16 yards. 60 degree, what do we got for the lie here. Upslope, it's gonna come out just a tad left, that should be fine. Gonna have to carry this, we're kinda short-sided. Carry this probably about, and I'm not gonna do that, but probably about 13, maybe. Granted, we hit that hill and it rolled off, but I thought that nine iron would have been a little bit better. I didn't feel terrible. These are less forgiving though than my RBZs, the rocket blades that I was playing down in Florida. Wow, how does that ball get stuck up there? And that was short, really? I thought that was gonna be pretty good. That's a first. Should just come down if I hit this, but that's kind of funny. Oh, wow, that must have been, were we in the deep rough? Thought it was just rough. I mean, carry raw, that was perfect. 14.4, that should have had a lot of spin on it. Granted, I'm not, it's just estimating the spin, but that was only like half the carry in the game from the R10, 14.4, that should have been pretty close. I thought that was gonna be nice, but another bogey on the scorecard. Four over through five, sixth hole par four. A lot of trees here. We were playing the furthest back tees, what these pros are playing. Which I would have no business doing. I don't really have business doing it here. Definitely not in real life, but a lot of big trees off the, the tee box that are just in like the corner of your eye. All right, this would set up nice for a baby fade here. Low line drive up the left, more like a baby draw, but at least hit halfway decent. Kind of a, like I said, low line drive up the left. Got 273 out of it though, thanks to these firm fairways. That's, I mean, in the game, that's almost, that's like 25 yards of rollout, which is a lot. 188 left. All right. It should fade, so I got 190. Um, it's either a really well struck seven, which probably won't happen, so I'm gonna go six. I actually messed around before on the range, dropping the altitude. I'm still at 3,000. Um, I was messing around, dropping it down to 2,000, but everything was, I was hitting it kind of poor too, but it seemed like things were too short. <coughs> Should only be a 1% difference, but. All right, 
six iron. Chunky came out left, it's fading. Firm fairways though, that's to get on the green. Might have to chip that. All right, 21 feet, what is that? Seven yards. I need to carry this about five. What am I swing at? I feel like I'm swinging, swinging kind of hard. 93, apparently, on the from the R10. I still think the club and ball speed are a little bit low, but 93, that's not terrible. I hit it chunky, but that's not terrible for a six iron club head speed, I don't think. All right. Five yards of carry. Sit. Oh, right past the pin. Par, take that. Four over through six. Seventh hole, par five. Looking like a slight dog leg left. Grab a drink quick while you find people are looking at the flyover. Longer flyover too, because it's such a long hole. All right. Let's, despite it being pretty narrow, let's try to step on one just a little bit. Maybe if I start swinging a little bit harder, kind of strain things out and just kind of let instincts take over. Not terrible. High, high heel again, but that'll work. <sighs> Leaves us with 290. I guess we'll go three wood again. I mean, it's pretty open. We may catch this tree over here on the left, but if I can run something up there, obviously I'm not gonna hit a 290, but if I can halfway decently hit this three wood, get us in the neighborhood of 250 up there and then leave us with like a 56 or so degree into the green. Chunk City. I can feel myself hanging back on it a little bit, but despite how heavy I hit that, 247 out of it. Probably why it feels like I'm hanging so far back, so I'm trying to kind of hit. I've been come I was coming down too shallow on course and I was catching things thin. Now I'm back to kind of hitting down on it more, but I'm catching too much of the mat, like I've been saying. So I'm trying to kind of hit up on it just a little bit more, which I think is making me hang back and it feels like I'm hitting it off my back foot, but I'm still catching it heavy. <laughs> Either way, we set ourselves up here for a decent look at it. 43 yards, hitting three into a par five. Pins tucked over there. We'll go there. It's gonna come out, uh, we'll, I think is A? Yeah, A's reset. We'll leave it there. It's gonna come out, we're on a down slope. It's gonna come out a little bit left. So I need to probably hit this. It's up two yards, 45. Down slope's gonna kill some spins, making it run out a little bit more, so. Probably gonna hit this in the neighborhood of 40, I think. And I was gonna aim a little bit left, but considering it's gonna come out left, I don't know. Let's just hit and see if we get lucky. 56 degree. Oh, I thinned it. That's gonna have to get lucky. Oh, right off the pin. It got lucky. Did it stay? Birdie. <laughs> Oh man, that's one way to do it.
that was coming in very hot. If the pin didn't get in the way of that thing, that would have been way off the back. Wow. Well, brings us to three over through seven. Eighth hole, par four. That was extremely lucky, but you're not gonna see me complaining about that. A day like this when I'm not swinging it very good, I can use all the luck I can get. Dog leg right. See if I can actually fade one. also left same spot as the other one high heel it's not terrible it's just complete opposite of what I'm trying to do I wonder if because of the side spin obviously you guys have if you're R10 users you know too I wonder if Garmin's picking that up as a baby draw I wonder if that is actually just starting left like I've been playing on course and that actually would fade back it doesn't feel like I'm doing anything crazy different, but leaves us with 99 up about a yard, so 100 total. Where's the pin? Front left. Um, it's going to come out a little bit right. We're on an upslope. I'm going to go, I guess, approach wedge. This club has been giving me a little bit of issues, but I feel better with it closer to 100. Ideally, I want to keep this club. I was doing too much with it in the past, trying to get too many different yardages. I was hitting it anywhere from 45 to 50, all the way up to 125 when I hit it full. Ideally, I want to use the 56 for some of those and then keep this to about 100. It's still going to be a choke down, but 100 to 125 yard club. So, it's still kind of a guessing game. I've got to hit this about 90, 95. That could be trouble. Land soft. <sighs> now I get hit down on them more. That's kind of, I wasn't thinning them that bad on course, but I wasn't taking enough divots. That was kind of what I was doing on course. <sighs> too fat, too thin. Too fat, too thin. Too far left, too far right. 27 in the rough. I'm just going to open up a 60. Terrible swing with that approach wedge. That was two really thin, thin wedges in a row. Should be decent. May need to go just a little bit. Go! Fortunately, we're out of the rough. That actually probably would have been pretty good. The raw from the R10 was 20. Took about four yards off it because of the rough. Gave us 22 total. That would have rolled out a little bit more. So it rolled out eight yards. That would have been inner circle. But obviously, got to take what the game gives me playing here, both good and bad. Don't feel terrible about that swing. That was close enough to what I was trying to do. Brings us to the ninth hole. Par three. We are four over through eight somehow. Ninth hole, par three, 214. Hmm. If I'm hitting it good, it would be a five. I think I might have to pull the four out. Well, it'd be technically be the upper end of a solidly struck five. This, if I even make halfway decent contact with this four, still should be a decent distance. Anything on the green here, I'd be pretty happy with. Solid strike, but the club face was open. That's going to be way right. Felt pretty good, though. Oh, boy. Got to get a couple practice sessions here with these less forgiving clubs. Making me wish I had my game improvement still. 
I guess. Basically what we did, you'll see some of them in the videos too. My dad shipped down, he had his same set of SIM 2s, he had um, regular graphite, and I had the steel stiff. He shipped down the uh, his regular um, graphite SIM 2s down to Florida to use there. So now he's up here, when he golfs here, he's using um, my old SIM 2s. So I guess I do have him here. I don't anticipate going back to him, but shots like that when I'm not hitting a great makes me wonder why I'm playing <laughs> these less forgiving clubs but it's the direction I ultimately need to go so we still don't have a terrible score going it's just I feel like I was hitting it so much better in Florida on on the course 62 in the rough Let's try the 56 a little bit worried about those trees, but. Should be decent. Oh, all right, I mean, I'll take that. It's about as good as I could ask for there. That was right next to the pin. I just got to get more comfortable. That was still kind of a guessing game of how much I needed to choke down on this 56 and how hard to hit it. That, I guessed right, or pretty close to right on that. I was debating hitting the 50, or the uh, approach wedge, which is 51, but... All right, five over through nine. Tenth hole, par four, 417. Tennis courts. All right, brief intermission there. Um, got my Diet Coke and water. It's so hot, I gotta drink some water out here. Had some Gatorade before I came out, but. All right, big old dog leg left here. So we're gonna leave it there. Who knows if this is gonna go left, right, or straight. Dead center of the club face. That was hit pretty good. That's more like it, literally. I'll show you guys. That's about, I guess it was a fraction towards the toe, maybe. Let's see if this will show up. Eh. Oh, there it is. Right, you guys can kind of see it. It was right here, right in the middle. Take my word for it, but sometimes it's fun with those matte balls. They leave the imprint kind of fun to, if you can see it, but you got to have the sun hit it right with that camera to see if it can pick it up. Kind of surprised though. I was using, Rick gave me some Pro V1Xs and I was hitting some decent ones with that. I'm curious, I may buy some new Pro V1s out here and test them against these Callaway super fast. These are definitely, the super softs are 100% too soft. The compression is way too low and I'm over compressing them and losing distance. These are a little bit firmer, but probably still too low. I'm wondering, that one felt like I swung it a little bit quicker. I'm kind of surprised it was only 98 on the club speed, but I wonder with a firmer ball if that would have put me into the 150s um, versus this somewhat softer ball. I don't know. 138 left, I digress. Aim about there. We'll go. Debating pitching wedge, but I gotta get it there. So we're gonna go choke down nine. Problem is, 
Pitching wedge is usually right around 130, 135. If I hit that, then I'm not on the green. So I'd rather be choked down nine and hit it even 140, 145. That's still on the green for a par. A little course management. I'm trying to think too. I have some fun stuff that I kind of did and talked about. Actually, Rick, if you guys check out his, he put out, we did a scramble on his channel. We did an 18-hole scramble, me and him, and that was one of the rounds I was using the Pro V1. I hit one 295 with it. Um, that one's already, that video's out on his channel, both of them, part one and part two, so you can check that out. But I'm trying to think, some of the stuff that happened in Florida, I don't want to talk about it now with this video coming out and kind of ruin some of the surprises. So I'm trying to think of things that I can and can't say and what I want to mention, but choke down nine. Hit pretty solid. Wow. Huh. That felt really good. I did choke down and swing kind of easy. I'm surprised that only went 128. I would have thought that would have been 145. Okay. I should have just hit the full pitch margin if I was going to do that. The whole reason why I mentioned the whole ball thing for like... I think it was like three full rounds. I was playing, like I said, I was playing decent. I, I was using a, uh, it was a Precept, um, the model of it. it was a Precept golf ball and it was a Lady IQ Plus. And I was using that for like two and a half, three full rounds. Rick was using brand new Pro V1s. And then that's what made us think if I was hitting a more premium ball, if I'd get more distance out of it, which is making me thinking about these back here too. But all right, 10 yards, 60 degree. Gonna be a little bit too much. Bogey. That sucks. Felt good with that choke down nine too. All right, six over through 10, 11th hole par three, 241. Yikes. Four hybrid, I guess. We'll try this. I was talking to Uneven Par. He said he's been teeing up his five hybrid and hitting that off the tee as a, or him, yeah, hitting that off the tee as a fairway finder. Usually just hit these off the deck, but just try to tee it up a little bit, hit the four hybrid and see what happens. If I can get it to stay. It was hit pretty solid. Cliff face was open though. <sighs> was a little bit thin. Thought that actually would have gone a little bit further. Maybe this hot humid weather is taking a toll on me. It doesn't feel like I'm swinging it slow. Kind of surprised that these clubs aren't going as far. Should check. Like I said, I changed it down to two thousand feet on the altitude and then I put it back up. Yeah, we're still back at three. I don't know. I guess I'm just not hitting it great. 31 yards in the rough. Not much to deal with with slope or the uh, the lie. 31 up about a yard. We'll go 60. Usually this would be real life when the spin is actually accurate. I'd probably just do a choke down 56 but been back here trying to open up the clubs a little bit more launch a little bit higher garmin thinks it spins more and it lands softer let's see here with the 60 if i can actually do that pushed it right may need to go too yep not my best Never good going into a shot saying I should be hitting a different club and then you take something else. Should have just hit the 56, I guess. 14 yard, 14 degrees of upslope. It's going to come out right 
So we'll aim here, 12 yards, need about 10 yards of carry. That one I chunked, came out kind of hot left. That's got to sit. Yikes. Double bogey. Well, we're kind of back on pace for bogey golf. <laughs> we got lucky with hitting the stick there with a birdie. These are the furthest back tees, but eight over through 11. We're slowly but surely going back towards bogey golf. 12th hole par four, 460. I'm drenched. Again, expectations were pretty low coming out here. First round back here in a while, but it's gonna feel good once I get back in the swing of things, play some better golf. And with this hot, humid weather sticking around here, should be able to swing things quicker. Although, like I've been saying, I don't feel like I'm swinging it that slow. Pretty close to the middle of the face again. Started a little bit left, looks like it's fading back. 104, allegedly on that one, 146. Pretty close to the average drive there of about 260, 265 on the rollout. Take that. Not really looking at any of the slope up or down off the tee box, but this course seems pretty flat. There's probably not a ton. Doesn't seem like we're hitting up or down into these fairways a whole lot. Leaves us with 187, up about two and a half yards. Um, yes story of the day not handing great we'll go six iron if i hit this good could get 200 205 out of it probably won't happen but if i was swinging it better it would be upper end of a seven thinned it bunky 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 Down in Florida, I was actually getting, been able to get up and down from the bunkers decently while I was there. Sand there in those courses, the championship courses are nice. They're nice and soft and fluffy versus some of the courses around here. Sometimes you're hitting off of like dirt. It's kind of tough to get out, but I um, was able to get out of them pretty easy for the most part. 23 yards. We'll leave it there. Um, greenside bunker is 25%. So what is that? Four yards or so? I'm just gonna try to fly at about 20, 25. Thinned it, that's gotta get down. I might go in the other bunker. I'm gonna get my weight further forward on those. All right, another little tester. It's gonna come out pretty far right, and the green's going that way. So we're gonna go there, we're on an upslope. Just gonna hit this about five. All right, pretty close to what I was trying to do. Caught it a little bit heavy, scolded just a little bit, but those short little shots. When you're not on course on real grass to kind of feel it a little bit tough to gauge but that was decent another bogey i guess so we're nine over through 12 13th hole par four 399 a little bit more in the realm of uh <laughs> uh realistic par four of what i play Like I said, as long as everything goes to plan, I have that video completely done. So you guys should be seeing that Wednesday. This video should be Friday. Um, pretty happy with how I played that front nine that you guys should be seeing. Um, won't give any spoilers. Go check that video out. It was the Palmer Legends Riley Grove course. But um, playing from the white tees because we were playing with my dad and my uh, family member Steve. But um, go check out what I was able to do there from the whites. I was pretty happy with that.
dead center of the face, but pretty high on the pretty high on the face. That's just a dead straight pop up. That was partially off the white crown. It sounded pretty bad. At least I'm straining things out a little bit now. Leaves us with 142, but I glanced at going by. So pending, gonna check where the pin is. I think it's another choke down nine, and it's up. About a yard and a half, almost two yards. Pins in the back. Ooh, maybe not. Um, well, I guess we'll try it. Last time I left it a little bit short. This one I'll probably hit 145 and it'll be long. Realistic, I probably could just hit a full pitching wedge and put me on the green, but we're gonna go choke down nine. Then it came out left. Get up there though, go. Go. Wow. That's like. May have still made his chip it anyways, but that's like two inches short of the green. Choke down nine. It's not working out. 23 yards. Not much with the lie. Like, what is that again? That was weird. Did I think it was my putter? Like, there was no ball tracer. That was probably pretty close. Um, the numbers don't look super far off on that. The raw carry was pretty close to the game, so I was just a little bit too much, but that was a little strange. I think GS Pro was thinking I was hitting a putter there, despite not having putting selected. That was kind of strange. Now we got a little... 11 feet what is that 12 would be four yards just shy of that i need to like hit it like here if it'll even register that's it bogey It's tough. I was aiming for there and I flew it like a couple yards too far. That was on the longer side. It's tough to even make a swing at it and get it to go there. 10 over. This is going to be an ugly scorecard. 14th hole, par 5, 513. Grab some water. And the old Sim 2 driver. walking by it looked like the phone flashed I don't know if you guys saw that hopefully it's not glitching out it is in the shade but it is hot out like I've been saying now we got some sun coming through but that should be keep going this way and then get behind the uh, the trees over there again A little bit toey. Down the middle though. 100 on the club, 147. Generous rollout with the firm fairways. Leaves us with 235. I was just thinking, not a ton of water here on this course, but there is water there. So we're gonna aim here. I'm gonna go four hybrid. Hopefully I get it off the deck up there in that general area. I don't pull it too far left. Should be, oh, it's fading a ton. I was gonna say that should be pretty good. All right, 
well, at least it was dry. 20 yards out of the rough now. Must not be swinging it super fast, because that felt decent. Club face was a little bit open, so the spin, I'm sure the slicey spin took some off of it, but usually that club, usually play that towards like 240, 245 on good strikes, bad strikes. Like that's usually like a really heavy strike, 225 type of shot, but we're on an upslope, we got 20 yards. Let's see if we can get up and down for once in this round. I thought I shanked that. As soon as I hit that, my eyes didn't catch it. I thought I, <laughs> I hit that outside the net. Oh, the thing's still rolling. Par. All right, at least it wasn't another bogey. 15th hole, par three, 169. What am I gonna hit? 170, it's like an upper end of an eight, considering. Not swinging it very good. I guess we'll club up and go seven. Ah, 169. Yeah, we'll stick with the seven. It probably, again, pins way back there. If I hit this good, it's gonna be off the back. Probably won't happen, but if I was stock yard just hitting it good, I would probably just play my 160, 165 with the eight iron to the uh, middle of the green and call it good for par. Started left, felt pretty solid. Yep. And that's a, it's a good seven iron, but <laughs> that was my worry. Usually that's what I've been playing this to, right around. 180-ish, 185. If I really mash one, 190. Unfortunately, hit a good one I don't need it to, and then hit a bad one I need to. 19 yards, air mailed it. Down slope, it's gonna come out a little bit right. Short sided, this should be fun. So we need about 20. Slightly less would be ideal, but I'm not in a position to uh, start flying things within a yard or two. Thin, get lucky, stay on the green. Yikes. I was chipping it pretty good too on course down in Florida. Not so much here on the mat. Another double bogey, 12 over through 15, 16th hole par four, 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 seven. It's gonna be a longer video too because I'm playing so bad, taking so many shots per hole. Can't say I'm doing a whole lot good today. I was gonna say, driver and uh, especially the wedge is not good clubs to be not feeling great with, but I'm not really hitting anything that great, so across the bag, it's just pretty, uh, Subpar. That might be wet. Wow, got it over. Terrible swing. Thought that was potentially gonna be so bad, didn't even pick up. What did that go, like 150 yards? 181. Ay, ay, ay. Going from bad to worse here, folks. All right. Do we have an opening? I mean, at this point, what do we got? 266, I'm just gonna blast three wood up there. If we hit the trees, we hit the trees, but we gotta be kind of up in this area. Hopefully we get lucky. Definitely gotta get this up in the air and kind of hit up on it. Started left. Is it gonna come back? Oh, we got over the trees too. 
All right, all things considered, I'll take that. Still a little bit heavy. Caught the mat first. This artificial turf really slows it down. 227 on that. Was out of the rough, but... Huh. The, uh, the raw carry and the game carry almost matched up there. 40 yards. Up about a yard. 41. We're probably short-sided again, and we are. It's going to come out a little bit right. We're going to go 56. And then I pulled it. We'll see. Sit, 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 sit. All right. Two putt. We get a par? Bogey. Where are we? One, two, yeah, three, four, five. All right. 13 over through 16. 17th hole, par five. Five, seven, three. Swing is in shambles right now. Funny too, playing actual pretty decent golf in real life. Come back here and play terrible. Low and left, it was off the heel though, so that should come back at least a little bit. Probably bounce right into that bunker. Go over it. Nope. 257 into the bunker. Leaves us with two, 214. At least we're on the up slope. I don't know if we're gonna hit this lip or not, but I'm just gonna blast three wood. Might not be enough loft to get out of here. It might catch the lip, but if we go there, We'll see. Considering we are on the upslope, I like that a little bit just for the sake of getting it up and out. Realistically, I'd probably hit... I mean, it depends. Tough to tell what what I said we were at. 10 yard or 10 degrees of upslope. Kind of tough to visualize what that would be like in real life. If it was enough, maybe I'd go hybrid, but realistically, we'd probably be like a 7 iron out of here just with a little more loft to get it up and out. But... Let's try the old three metal. Chunky left. Did that catch the lip or not? That seemed like it shot way up in the air. It may have got out clean, it's just the sand took a ton off it. And I hit that heavy. All right, 107 in the rough. It's gonna be an approach wedge. Rough's gonna be 6%, so call it seven yards. We need like 114. It's gonna be like a three quarter approach wedge. Hopefully, I'm getting a lot of these bad swings out now. And the next round I play right after this, I'll play a little bit better, but probably not, probably go even more down the tubes, but all right, three quarter approach wedge. Then to win, then to lose, then to lose. This is getting embarrassing. 26, out of the rough. Down slope, this is fun. Short sided. Gotta launch this pretty high, land this pretty soft on a down slope. Well, I launched it high, be good. Sit, oh, all right, I'll take that. That was actually pretty close to what I was trying to do. 
not a bogey, but that was basically the shot I was looking for. That thing got up there pretty quick. 14 over through 17. We made it. 18th and final hole, par four, four, five, one. My shirt's completely soaked in sweat. Swings in shambles. Mentality's not the best. Swing has seen better days. But I am going to swing out of my shoes on this one, see if we can connect on one. Get into the 150s on the ball speed. Dog leg left. It's kind of low. That was low heel. Not bad though. Rolling out to about 260, 265, 266. Leaves us with 183. Decisions, decisions. If I hit my 7 iron like I did that last one before, I'd get it there. Let's see where the pin is, I guess. Ooh, pin's in the front. Um, we'll go 6 iron just to get it there. If I come up long, Hopefully it stays on the green. Seven iron, I'd have to hit that pretty darn pure and kind of hard to get it there to the front. I will say, got a ton of mulch delivered. I've been shoveling that and spreading that the past few days. So I guess that is my one excuse amongst all the other ones, but Hit it hard, started left, should come back. It's actually not a terribly struck six iron. All right, yikes. Take a look at this. Another bogey, which is fitting, fin fitting to finish it off. All right, from Detroit GC slash RMC, AKA Detroit Golf Club, home of the uh, Rocket Mortgage Classic going on from June 27th to June 30th, right when you guys should be seeing this. This is in Detroit, Michigan, of course. Um, finished off with an 87. What is that, 15 over? Um, 41 on the front, which actually wasn't too bad. We got lucky on seven, that was the birdie off the stick. And then 46 on the back. Um, only had, <laughs> this isn't great when you can count the pars. Uh, three pars, one birdie. Yikes, the rest were, I mean, it was mostly just bogey golf all the way through. Take a look at the stats. Three pars, one birdie, 12 bogeys, two double bogeys, at least nothing worse than that, I guess. Um, two double bogeys, not great though. Longest drive, 280, average drive, 268. Average ball speed, 145. Best ball speed, 148. Handicap is still messed up. I don't know how to get rid of that. I've been saying it basically every single round after here once I finish. I don't know how to get rid of that with that one fairy point round that I played in like the hurricane like conditions. I deleted that scorecard, but it's still all jacked up. So again, if any of you guys out there know how I can adjust that and get rid of that one outlier score, because I am definitely not a, uh, I don't know if, I don't think anyone is a negative, uh, 80, 82.4 handicap 10.3 though on this one. That's pretty accurate. Um, at least for within GS pro 34 putts, uh, pretty bad over an hour. Pretty bad. Cause I played so bad. Uh, Pretty accurate. Greens regulation, 28%. That's pretty abysmal. Somehow we hit 9 out of 14. Um, fairway, 64%. That's not abysmal. And like I said, 10.3 handicap on this course for this round. Average is still all jacked up. You guys can see some of the uh, stimp was at 10. Fairways are firm. Greens were firm. Yellow tees, which are the furthest back, about 7,300 yards. Played Friday pins, um, 3,000 elevation, and no wind. That's about it. So go back to the scorecard. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, it was certainly something. I'm going to reset things here. Um, get another drink of water. Play one more course. I'm not sure about the next one. I'm playing this one. It's going to be another week out just because I'm going to start sprinkling in those on course rounds. Um, once I get through this and kind of do some more editing to give myself some leeway, um, I have 
I think about four or five um, subscriber requested courses that I need to get to. Those will be coming up next and I'll sprinkle those in um, amongst the on-course rounds and the PGA Tour schedule, trying to keep up with this. But um, that's what I got. Check out those Amazon links. I'd appreciate if you guys do of your, any of your Amazon shopping. Just click one of those links first. It doesn't have to be anything directly linked below. It's just any of your Amazon shopping. I get a small affiliate commission. It doesn't cost you guys a penny extra. Um, I just get that little bit of referral commission instead of Amazon themselves keeping it. So, again, great way to support the channel if you like seeing me do uh, play 15 over <laughs> golf back here in the simulator. But, um, like always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys at the next course.